Hey everybody, this is Steve from GamersNexus.net and we're doing something a little bit different today. We're going to replace the CPU after the aftermarket CPU heatsink fan in this Tunique 120 Extreme or Tunique Tower 120 Extreme cooler. It is for LGA 1155, 1366 and I think it fits AMD sockets as well. You just need a special mounting bracket that it comes with. So I'm going to be replacing the fan in here. It came with a really nice blue fan, but I want to put in my red fan to match the rest of my case. The blue fan is 80 CFM at 19 decibels, so I tried to match that as best I could. I think I got a 76 CFM fan at about the same decibel level, so it's not a huge performance decrease, but for the gain that it fits the rest of my case's theme, it was worth the 1% drop in, in cooling. Now, uh, we're first going to start removing the fan. You just unscrew the four corner screws, just like I did, and then you slide this out, and that's your mounting bracket with the, the fan itself. Take note of which way the fan is facing, note the way the fins are dipped. That way you can make sure you put your new fan in the correct direction because it, it does sort of matter. You want to push all the hot air up and out or up and out the back and not back down towards your video card, which is what will happen if it's the wrong direction, I believe. Depending on which way it mounts, it might also push it towards the front where your hard drives are, just again, depending which way you mount it. So now we're going to take the fan itself out and this takes me a little bit of time because it is brand new so they're tight and I just alternate corners nothing new here we're all capable of doing this just alternate corners with the screwdriver to apply equal pressure and then you'll eventually get the fan out and once that fan is out I'm still unscrewing it here once that fan is out we can get going with the new fan so I'm gonna put this aside and keep it for later because again it is a very good fan at 80 CFM and 19 decibels that's not super common at a at a budget point so I'm gonna keep it for a blue case later and let's see I'm almost done here there we go got the fan out so now that hopefully you have noted which direction it was facing we can set that aside and uh, of course my video shows you the default direction it faces so that will that will help you if you mess up and forget which way it was pointed and now we're gonna put this new fan in so the first thing to note here, it is a little bit tricky. Uh, you want to make sure, I, I messed this up my first time here, but you want to make sure that your cables for the fan itself are facing out, meaning out of the top area, the top oriented from the way it was standing a second ago. Make sure they're facing out, that way they come out of the bottom of the heat sink once you put it back in. So I figure this out right around now and flip it around. Yep, there we go. And uh, after this, you just want to make sure it's really secure. You'll screw those four screws back in, just one in each, each uh, bottom left, top right corner for each side. And alternate that way. It has the best strength because it is a spinning object, so you just want to make sure it's in there secure. Don't strip anything, but make sure it's secure. And, uh, and here we go. I have it in now with the cable facing downward. And we're going to screw that in really quickly. It is pretty boring to watch screws going in, so I'll speed it up a little bit. That way it's it's not quite so slow here. And uh, so we get this thing in. I want to say really quick, I do have a lot more hardware guides coming up. I'm actually going to be doing a review, a video review hopefully, of the Rosewill Thor version 2 white edition case, which is a full tower case, I believe. It's pretty cool looking. Uh, it is a white edition case, so it's, some, it's something new. I'm used to black cases, as are many of us. And uh, I'm going to be reviewing that soon on the channel. I also plan to do a full how to build your computer guide, because a lot of people have really been asking for it. And even an overclocking guide, which is what this heatsink guide is in preparation for, because I do plan to do some overclocking guides in the very near, near future. Every board is going to be different, of course, but we'll worry about that when we get to it. So now we see that I have the fan mounted. I do a quick test to see which way the air is going. Not that this is a very good test or anything, but just a quick test. And there's your mounting location. And we'll just push, feed the cable through there and out the other side. And then you can mount your fan back where it belongs. Don't force it too hard, just push it a little bit and then maneuver the cable as necessary. And, uh, and of course, now that we have that in, it's just back to screwing in the original top four screws from the start of the video. So we'll screw those in, and then that's really it. You're done at this point. So please like the video, 
comment and subscribe. Comment if you need any help at all. We're always here to help you. Or go to our forums. We're there to help you as well. We have a lot of people on volunteer staff or on staff to answer questions. So give us a shout. You can also post on our Twitter and Facebook page, which are in the description below. And of course, you can see me microing my screws like crazy right now. I'm basically just going at it like a zergling rush or something. So if we get those in, everything's mounted, we're good to go. Uh, let Again, let us know if you have any questions at all. Like, subscribe, comment, and we'll see you guys next time. Peace.